Okay. How many different? So you can use all these fifteen dollars to buy things. So you can buy fifteen apples, or you can buy seven apples or eight oranges, or you may buy one apple, one orange, one pear, and twelve star fruits. Okay. So the key here is that we are going to use up all the money. So how many ways are there? To to to. How many different kinds of ways that I can buy things? So buying all apples is one way. Buying 15 oranges is another way. Buying 15 pears is, an, is another way. Buying seven apples, eight oranges is another way. So how many different ways are there? Okay, so... So it turns out that this is a combination problem. This is a combination problem. It is, so it turns out that the, the number of ways turns out to be, so there are $15, right? We can choose, so it, it looks like something like, we, have, we want to buy W apples, we want to buy X orange, oranges, Y pears, and Z star fruits. And then we want to find out how many ways to get W plus X plus Y plus Z is exactly equal to 15 with the restriction that each of these values, W, X, Y, Z, they are, they are what? They are, they are non-negative integers. So, so they are, uh, they are non-negative integers. Integers. So how many ways are there? So the, first of all, I hope that you can see that this problem and this problem are exactly the same. Is it okay? So we are translating the problem on this side into a mathematical uh, description. Okay. So we are asking the same thing. The number of ways to get W, X, Y, Z that satisfy this equation with this restriction is the same as the number of ways that we are picking these fruits from, from the supermarket. Okay, so these two are the same. We, we didn't know how to solve this problem yet, but first of all, we should see that these two are the same. Is that okay? Okay, so, so whenever you have a technique to solve this, this problem, or you have a technique to solve this problem, then you can solve the other, the other problem. Okay, good. And now, so how, how, should, how should we do? So there is a very, <coughs> there is a clever observation, okay. So first of all, all the apples are the same to us, so we don't care. We just care how many apples are there. So suppose that we want to buy five apples, and then we want to buy zero oranges, we want to buy six pears, and then we want to buy four star, star fruits, okay. Then, then we can represent this one using, using, using this notation. So I want to buy five apples, so I, I have five star symbol here. And then, let's say this is the boundary. I have a boundary. Let's separate. So this is talking about how many apples that I have. And then I don't have any orange, so I have a boundary between orange and then, and then the pairs, and then I have six stars here, and then I have four. Is that okay? So I'm going to use this representation, the stars and bars, to represent a particular selection of 15 things. Is that okay? So if I'm doing 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 10, then what should I draw? I would be drawing something like a star, and then a bar, a star, a bar, a star, and then something like this. Is that okay? If you're okay with my, 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 so, so this one corresponds to this one, and this one corresponds to this one. If you understand what I'm talk talking about so far, could you please raise your hand? 
Okay, good. So it looks very simple, right? So whenever you have a way to, to buy things, I have a way to draw it using this bar and star format. Okay? Now, so I, I can have a very strange case, like 0 plus 15 plus 0 plus 0. Then in this case, what should I draw? I will be drawing nothing here, and then a bar, and then many stars here, 15 stars here, and then a bar for this one, and then a bar for this one. Is that okay? Is that okay? Okay. Now, so this format and this format and this format, they are representing different cases, but they have something in common. So what, what is the common thing? So for this one and this one, they have something in common. They have something to be the same. What is, what is the same? Very good. Same number of bars and same number of stars. Is that okay? So have, they have the same number of bars and same number of stars. How many bars are there? Three. Okay, three bars. How many stars? Fifteen stars. Okay, fifteen stars. Is that okay? Good. And let's imagine you have a crazy friend, and then this friend wants, likes drawing a lot. Okay, so someday he draws a line that has uh, three bars and 15 stars. Like, uh, so uh, your friend draws. So 15 stars, so he draws two, and then a bar, and then he draws four, and then a bar, and then he draws three, and then a bar, and then he draws six. Okay, this is what your friend draw. But you know that this one corresponds to a particular way to select the fruits, right? Right? So what does it mean? It means that any way to select fruit can be represented by three bars and 15 stars. On the other hand, any way to draw three bars and 15 stars, it represents a way to select the fruits. Okay? Okay, now, if we can know how many ways are there to draw three bars and 15 stars, then we know how many ways are there to select the fruits. Is that okay? Then how many ways to draw three bars and 15 stars? How many ways are there? Yeah, how many ways are there? Yeah, so the bars can be at the second location, the fourth location, or the... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight location, right? Eight location. Okay. So how many ways to draw? So you can think of this as what? You can think of this as you have all together eighteen positions. So for all these eighteen positions, we are going to choose three of them to put the bars. Maybe I put a bar here, I put a bar here, and then I put a bar here. After selecting which three positions we put the bar, then all the remaining we are putting the stars. Is that okay? Okay. So the total number of ways is, so the number of ways to have three bars and 15 stars must be equal to 18 choose 3. Or, or it is equal to 18 choose 15. Is that okay? Is, is that okay? Is that okay? Good. Okay, or if you don't like, it is like you have an English word that has two different symbols. So three of them are A's and 15 of them are B's. So how many arrangements are there? So there are going to be 18 divided by 3 factorial, divided by 15 factorial. Is that okay? So, so this, is, this, is, this is what? This is 18 choose 3 or 18 choose 15. Is that okay? Okay, good. So this is, this is okay, so, <coughs> so this is one way of looking at things like this. So there is another way, but perhaps too complicated. Okay. So if you understand what we have been doing so far, then you it is like you have eleven stars and two bars. Is that okay? 
each per symbol is a bar. 11 stars and 2 bars. So it is going to be 11 stars, 2 bars, 2 to 11. Okay? So this is the answer. Okay. Is that okay? Now, let me make this problem more complicated. Suppose that this time, we don't want no negative integer solution. We want, okay, so I'm going to change it. How many positive integer solution? So positive means that you cannot have zero. You cannot have zero. And how do we solve this? <coughs> So there are a couple of ways to do that. There are a couple of ways to do that. First of all, you can find out how many solutions are there that are non negative. You don't have to solve it. And then how many solutions are there that x is zero? How many solutions that y is zero? How many solutions that z is zero? How many solutions that x and y are both zero? How many solutions that y and z are both zero? How many solutions that x and z are both zero? We count all these different cases. We are going to use inclusion exclusion principle and then find out how many ways that we have positive. Is that okay? So this is one way. Do you understand my point? So this contain uh, so the previous calculation, we, we, we find out the number of non-negative integral solutions. But it is overcounted because some of the cases we don't want. We don't want x to be zero. We don't want y to be zero. We don't want z to be zero. Am I correct? So we can use, so the previous one is like, what? 11 plus 2 choose 11. These are the, all the ways that we can have, non-negative. But then we need to minus the case that x, so we need to minus the case that x is equal to zero. We need to minus the case that y is equal to zero. We need to minus the case that z is equal to zero. Is that okay? And then we need to add back the case that x and y are both zero. We need to add back the case that x and z are both zero. We need to add back the case that y and z are both zero. And then we need to subtract the case that x and y and z are all zeros. Okay, but we know, we know that the last case doesn't happen. So this is one way, okay? This is one way. Okay, oh, is that okay? Oh, oh, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. This is a, this is a not so clever way, but it works, okay. So first of all, how many cases are there that x is equal to zero? For x plus y plus z is equal to 11. How many cases are there? How many cases? So I tell you x is equal to zero, right? So, so and then, so you, you just want to de determine what is the value for y and z. So y could be zero, one, two, three, up to 11. So there are going to be 12 cases. Is that okay? So there are 12 cases here. Things are symmetric. So the number of cases that y is exactly equal to zero, there are 12 cases. The number of cases that z is equal to zero, there are exactly 12 cases. Is that okay? And then how many cases are, are there for x and y are both zero? So if you tell me x and y are both zero, then z has to be 11, right? So there's just one way. So you add back one, you add back one, you add back one. Is that okay? Okay, so let's calculate this value. This is 13 choose 11. So it is x actually 13 choose 2. 13 choose 2 is equal to what? Anyone can calculate this quickly? Seven, 78, right? 13 choose 2 is 78. So 78 minus 12, minus 12, minus 12. So you minus 36, so you get 42. Is that okay? And then you add 1, add 1, add 1. So if the calculation is correct, so this will be equal to 45. Is that okay? So we can solve this problem to find out the number of positive in integer so integral solutions, it is equal to 45. We can do so by using inclusion-exclusion method. Okay, but there is a cleverer way. Okay, so there is a cleverer way. 
So let me use this one. <coughs> so here, I think this is slightly cleverer. Okay, so you can imagine that you are going to buy apples, you are going to buy orange, and you are going to buy pears. Altogether, eleven of them. Am I correct? And then, every one of them cannot be equal to zero. So there must be at least an apple here. And there must be at least an orange here, and there is must be at least a, a pear here. Okay. So, so you can think of that. These three things are there. They are there, stuck. You cannot change because it represents they have at least one. So, so what what does it mean? So the first three things are selected for you. They cannot change. What you need to do is, you want to find out how many ways are there to distribute these eight items into this part, this part, and this part. Is that okay? Is that okay? So you can think about something like this. Okay. So x is the total number of apples. But let me say we define something called x prime to be x minus one. Y prime to be y minus one, and z prime to be z minus one. Is that okay? So x is the total number of apples that we have, but then you have one there. That must be there. So x prime is how many other apples that you want to put in for the bas for, 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 for your for a basket. Y prime is y minus one. Z prime is z minus one. So here we are asking how many ways to have x prime plus y prime plus z prime is equal to eight, where x prime, y prime, z prime, they are greater than or equal to zero, and integers. Is that okay? Now certainly, we know how to solve this problem. This is the same problem as before. We are asking how many ways to have three numbers added together. They are non-negative. This is three numbers, non-negative. How many ways are there to add them? So in that case, this will be equal to. So there are eight stars. Two bars, choose eight. So this is ten choose eight or ten choose two. Ten choose two is forty-five, and this gives us the the answer. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. One more variation for for the same theme. So far, so good, right? Same, similar problem. Similar problem, but let's slightly change. How many solutions are there for x plus y plus z is less than or equal to eleven? Less than or equal to. Okay. And then. We want to find out the number of. Let's make it slightly simpler. Non-negative solutions. So how many non-negative solutions are there for x plus y plus z is less than or equal to less than or equal to eleven? So so this time zero 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 is an answer. Zero zero one one zero one one zero zero whatever. So there are a lot of answers, right? So how can we solve this problem? Again, there are also two ways. Okay, two ways. One, one is do, doing what? I know how to solve x plus y plus z is equal to eleven, right? This is what we have done so far. So let's solve this. And then find out how many ways are there for x plus z plus y is equal to ten. So we know how to solve this one. We know how to solve this one. We know how to solve x plus y plus z is equal to zero, right? We can have the number of ways here, the number of ways here, the number of ways here, add them up together. So this is the solution. Okay. This is actually not bad. This is this we are using what rule of sum. Okay, all these are representing cases that that are disjoint. That they that one appears here does not appear in another part. So we can do this. So here, 
<laughs> so here it is equal to what? It is equal to so using our our understanding. So this will be equal to thirteen choose eleven, and then this is equal to twelve choose ten. Blah 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 blah. And then this one is equal to the last one is equal to two choose two. 2 choose 0, 2 choose 0, okay? Anything choose 0 is counted as 1, okay? Uh, I don't know the special case for 0 choose 0, but any integer, positive integer choose 0 is counted as 1. So this is a solution, or if you like, this is the same as 13 choose 2 plus 12 choose 2 plus to choose two. And what is the answer of this one? Well, well, so how, what is the answer? Okay, you can use your calculator, okay. But let's see if we can have a better observation. Maybe this one, you can solve it more easily. So th this is one, and then this is one, one, okay. This is one, two, one. And then I'm writing one, three, three, one. So what are these numbers? This is called, so what is it called? Pascal triangle, right? So, okay. Western world call it Pascal triangle. Chinese people call it. Okay, good, but that's a translation, okay. So this is called Yang Hui San Zhao Xing, okay. I'm not okay check <laughs> so this one may be written wrongly okay but something like this Yang Hui okay so this this is a way okay this is a way to get all the binomial terms so this is this is what is it this is uh, this is one choose zero one choose one 2 choose 0, 2 choose 1, 2 choose 2. 3 choose 0, 3 choose 1, 3 choose 2, 3 choose 3. 4 choose 1, 4, uh, 4 choose 0, 4 choose 2. Uh, is that okay? Yes. Okay, good, excellent. And then here, what we are going to add? 2, 2. 2 choose 2 is this one. Is it 2 choose 2? Is it okay? And then this is 3 choose 2. And then this is... 4 choose 2, and then 1, 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. This is, this is 4, 4, okay, whatever, okay? So, <clears throat> so this one plus this one plus this one plus this one, we are adding this up to 13 choose 2, right? This is what we want to compute. Okay, this is what we want to compute. So let's see. If you have just one term, it is one. Am I correct? If we have two terms, adding the first two terms, what, what do we have? So we have four, right? But this one is the same as this one. So if you add these two terms, you get this number. Is that okay? Does that make sense? You get the first, if you add the first three numbers, this one, this one, this one, you get this number. Is that okay? If you get one, two, three, four, you get this number. Okay? So, is that okay? So, what is, so this number is what? This number is three choose three. This number is four choose three. This number is five choose three. The next number is six choose three, and so on and so forth, right? So the answer here should be equal to, under our observation, it should be equal to something, choose three. Am I correct? Is that okay? And what is that something? The first time two choose two, it is equal to three choose three. You add the first two, two choose two and three choose two, you get four choose three. So if you add everything up to this point, you should have how many? What choose three? 
14. Excellent. So this is equal to 14 to 3. Is that okay? Okay, good. So we have, so this is to save some time to do the calculation. And now, let me tell you a cleverer way. I, I, I think this is quite clever. Okay, I, I, I don't know how to do this. I, I think the tutors taught me how to do this. Okay, so this time we have x plus y plus z is less than or equal to 11, right? Now, th the next thing is very creative. Let's add something called a w. W is what we call the surplus. Okay, if x plus y plus z is less than 11, W will make it add up to exactly 11. Is that okay? So if you have a solution here, like 0, 0, 0, then it will correspond to the case of 11, 0, 0, 0. Is that okay? If you have a solution here, like 5, 2, 4, then you correspond to a solution here like 0, 5, 2, 4. <laughs> if you have a solution here, 1, 1, 1, it will correspond to a case of 8, 1, 1, 1. Is that okay? Is that okay? So the number of ways to have w plus x plus y plus z is equal to 11 is exa exactly the same as the number of ways to have x plus y plus z is less than or equal to 11. And the restriction on w is the same. It is non-negative integer. Okay, because the largest thing that x, y, z can get is if 11. So w will get a zero value there. And then the smallest value of x, y, z will be zero. Okay, w will get 11. So what does it mean? It means that the choice for w, x, y, z are all the same. They are choosing from non-negative integers. So the number of ways here will be equal to will be equal to what? So how many bars are there? So there are one, two, three, three bars. So it is eleven plus three, choose eleven, or eleven plus three choose three. So we get the same answer, fourteen choose three. Is that okay? Okay. So I hope you like the discussion so far. So we, we still have a little bit of things we have not discussed about uh, combi combinations. So let's leave that for next week. Okay? That's all, thanks. Okay.